Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, it's my level 38 rogue, and he is specced into... Marksman. What? I bet you thought I was going to say Bard, right? Well, let me tell you a little story about how we find ourselves in this particular predicament. I had extra time to play Rift this weekend. That's great, right? Hallelujah, joy. So I started recording a bunch of matches. I probably recorded 16 or 18 matches in the Warfronts, and I was super happy. I had 150 gigs of video data bloating up my hard drive, and I knew I was going to have a gem on there. So I started watching through, not really remembering any particular matches standing out and just wanting to find that perfect thing to put on display for you guys. But it wasn't there. I didn't find Jack. There was nothing in all of that footage that was suitable for an episode of Warfronts. So I hung my head. I felt like I was going to have to cancel the episode. Despite having that giant head start and all that footage, I couldn't find anything. But, but I said, you know what? I'm on a good roll here lately. I'm not just going to let it go down like that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. I'm just going to do something different. So I jumped on my rogue. I specced him over to Marksman. I spent the seven points that was just hanging out in his soul tree. And then I hit the cues. And I said, you know what? I'm going to play one match as Marksman because I used to like Marksman, right? I used to play it a lot. And I'm just going to use it. Whatever it is, I'm going to use it. The cue pops and I find myself mercenaried over to the Guardians. And this kind of sucked because I had probably been playing for a consistent hour with these Defiant guys and we had been collectively scheming to destroy the Guardians and now I find myself playing beside them. Oh, I was dejected, but I decided to soldier on. And what came out of that match was, well, part of it was my sort of distraction at having ended up on the Guardian team after all of these matches with my Defiant pals. But it actually ended up being a good learning opportunity. This week's show is going to return to a theme that used to be quite common here on Warfronts. It is playing the objective. This is something that I thought we were done with. I thought this was over. I didn't think we would have to come back to this subject ever again. But what you're going to see in the footage that follows is... A lot of me, my teammates, and especially the opposing team not playing the objective. Ugh. And it pains me to watch it, but it's something that needs to be put out there. I mean, yeah, you don't always have to play perfect. You know, this is match number 17 that I played this night. And, you know, it's okay that I screwed up a little bit, but the whole point of the show is to analyze the performance and try to get better. And what you're about to see as I make my way across this war-torn landscape is one of probably the stupidest things I've ever done. You're going to see about 45 seconds of just pure moron. Just moronic embodiment of stupidness. And here it goes. Instead of moving forward and actually going for the fang carrier, I engage this person. Miraculously, I live. I think about going to that fang carrier, and then I think, oh wait, there's some action over here. Let's go over here. There's like three people over here, and they can clearly handle this one person, but I'm going to go help. So I head over there and lend a hand, and then, and only then, I decide to go after the fang carrier. The rest of the team follows. We easily kill him and grab the fang. Why didn't we do that a minute sooner? That's my question. That's 137 points racked up by the Defiant team that they didn't need to get. We let them off the hook right there. <sighs> but we're going to recenter. You notice we have a we have a field general who is yelling and barking orders. Grab it! Our tree! Everyone! Turtle there! Okay, cool dude. You're the man in charge, right? You are our... Bard in charge, so we're gonna we're gonna turtle uh, at your request. But what you're gonna see over the next several minutes is a, a bunch more examples of myself and the other team just failing to play the objective. So here we go, right here. Our guy is turtled behind the tree. Why are these two people going after me? I have no idea. Are you perceiving me as that much of a threat? 
Are you seriously being kited this far away from the objective? Our guy just died, but because we have kited these three guys over here, out of the, out of the tree area, we get the fang back in a really, really easy grab. What in the hell just happened? Why did that just happen? This is the sort of stuff that's Bush League, it's amateur. This is the stuff that we were working on in like the the, the early teens episodes. And, and it's the sort of stuff that we're supposed to be past right now. I know everybody in the world doesn't watch my show, but come on, guys. You know, I expect more of you as a community. Don't let me kite two people away from the object objective and end up with what? With nothing. Their whole team is wiped. You know, they have one little dude who managed to sneak his way over. But he's going to be quickly dispatched, and we're going to continue to play as a team. And we are going to continue to play the objective for the most part, and that's a great thing, right? Uh, as a team, we will do a pretty good job of playing the objective. But I just have to wonder, what was going through this Defiant team's head? And here we have four guys, right? Four or five guys that are coming in, and I put myself out there. I say, you know what, if these guys want to jump me great. I engage two of them off the bat and I go for another. I manage to peel that guy. Then I circle the tree and grab this guy too. Now this one is actually a little smarter. I'll give that guy credit. He actually sticks with the target. You know, that's thumbs up to that dude. But I'm going to die here, but I will gladly give my life for, for a distraction like that. You know, I'm all there. Now, our team didn't really do their job in saving that thing. They could have done that, but it's okay because we absolutely destroyed that guy just seconds later. But this is the sort of thing uh, that ends up happening. And here you're going to see me, again, uh, not playing the objective. Why am I attacking this guy? Is there any good reason? Does this get me the fang? Does this get my team the win? No. The answer is no. No, it doesn't. And because I choose to attack this guy and not move towards the center... They get the fang, and I managed to kill that guy. Oh, just great. Wonderful. A giant thumbs up for me. So now I'm back on task. I'm using my sprint. I'm running. I'm going to redeem myself by attacking those two guys. Now, luckily, those two guys retreat, and they go by the tree, and I don't allow that person to distract me. I head over, and I immediately start going to town on the intended target, which is the fang carrier, Start unloading, building combo points, trying to get that kill. We do take the fang carrier down, and at this point, I go into disruption mode. I am now the interrupter. You're going to try to grab the fang defiance? Sorry, you're not going to be able to do it, because I'm fanning out on all your asses. And the fang gets a return, and we will manage to grab it from its prison. Here is another example of someone not playing the objective. I will run over here, and I will get killed by you all day long. Because you know where you're not? You're not in the center. You're not actually trying to get the fang. <sighs> Don't do that. Don't chase for a kill. Please. Please. Now, this has been one of those episodes. It's, it's a little bit weird, I'll say, as an episode. Because I'm not usually this critical of the performances of others. But, like I said, I spent hours trying to get good footage and ended up with shit. And so, I'm just a little punchy right now. And that means uh, that I am just going to act... A little bit sillier than usual and pretty much from here on out till the end of the match they don't really even have a chance they don't even really try to mount an offense which you know can you blame them it's pretty much a foregone conclusion at this point uh, but we do end up of course taking the victory as you can see and uh, you know this ends up being an okay match and it, it essentially it saves my evening um, it saves all of those hours that I put in and uh, we grab the victory there. So again, like I said, not like me really to be so critical of other folks, uh, but every now and then I like to cut loose and uh, just kind of put it on a little bit and lay it on thick for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Warfronts. It was a little bit weird, but like I said, I was on the point, I was on the verge of just crying and and really just just coming to you guys with my with my head in my hands just saying, oh, I just don't have it. I, I don't have any footage. And this little dance right here saved me. So 
I'm going to try next week to get back on my mage. I have to admit I'm having a lot more fun with my rogue lately, so you may end up seeing more rogue footage. I will try to get back on the mage. We'll try to see what we can do with a little more level 50 content. But in the meantime, I'm also leveling this guy. So uh, he did gain two levels since the last time you've seen him. Hope to get him into the 40s for the next time you see him. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.